Hey y'all, I'm back with another video and as you can tell by the title of this video, yes this is a story time and yes this is a story time about how I of all people got scammed out of a thousand dollars. So if you want to know what happened, if you want to know the details of how I got scammed out of a thousand dollars, keep watching and you might as well like, comment, and subscribe because the story time is kind of interesting. Not even kind of, it is interesting so stay tuned and let's just get straight into this video. Alright, so let's just jump right into this video. Um, long story short, so if I say long story short, I'm not really saying long story short, just get straight to it, what happened. I'm going to actually tell y'all details, but it just sounds good to say long story short when you're telling the story. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, long story short, it's a Friday afternoon about like 12.50. I'm getting dressed, doing my hair because I'm getting ready for um, my audition for my one of my acting well my acting class for those who don't know I'm in film school so one of my classes is um an acting class and y'all probably thinking like you're in film school ain't you trying to be a director yes but it's good to take an acting class that way you know how to orchestrate your actors you get what I'm saying I'm preparing my monologue I'm practicing I'm doing my hair life is good at this point um I woke up on the good on the right side of the bed I was in a good spirit and I'm getting dressed. Next thing you know, I am getting I get a message from my work email. My work email is connected to my phone. I get a message and it's from my boss. I said my boss because y'all gonna y'all gonna see him later out like throughout the whole thing or whatever. But I get a message from my boss. Well, not my boss, the CEO. The CEO is actually reaching out and the CEO is like believable because it's a, like a family owned business or whatever and I can literally just go upstairs, can just contact him and he's right there. So the CEO reached out to me saying, well the CEO reached out to me asking me to do a favor for him and he asked for my number. I'm like, okay, yes. Hi, um, yes, here's my number, blah, blah, blah. I'm still getting dressed, doing my hair, whatever. Uh, it was probably like five minutes go past, I get a message from the CEO. Scratch when I said the boss is the CEO. Um, so, I get a message saying, let me see, let me pull up the messages because I still got them. I still got these things. I still got them. Hold on. All right. <laughs> I got the messages, okay? So, I'm going to just tell y'all. So, I get a message saying, Taylor, let me know if you're available at the moment. I am in a meeting. I can't take your call right now, but I'm excellent with text if that works. Need you to run a quick task. Thanks. And then it said the CEO name, and then it said thanks. And I said, yes, I am currently available. I am currently at home, um, but I can do the task. May I ask that you need help with? May I ask the task that you need help with so that I can prepare? Because remind you, I'm all trying to rush and then I get a message from the CEO asking me to do a favor while I'm in the midst of getting dressed and then I have an audition at 2.35. Remind you, it's like 12 something. It's like 12.50 right now. He said, I mean they said, I want you to physically go to the store like Target, Safeway, Kroger that sells Google Play gift cards and purchase them. I need the card's back codes for a presentation. I'm like, all right. I'm like, okay, great. I will go there now. Do you know how many you need and the amount on each card? And they say, I need five to ten cards. I can only advise on the amount with what the store has. I need you to find the nearest store. So I'm like, when I got that message, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I need to hurry up. And I'm kind of getting frustrated because I'm like, wait, why did... They just asked me this, and I'm actually trying to hurry up. I have an audition or whatever. I'm rushing. And it's probably like, what time is it? It's 1. All right. It's one fifteen right now. The, the closest store near me is Walgreens. That's 10 minutes away. So I drove there, and it's about one twenty-five. Remind you, my goal was to leave around, like, two o'clock because it takes me some time to get to my audition where it's gonna be at. It takes it's like it's like about thirty minutes away. So I text him and say I'm here 
And I'm looking for the, I go on Walgreens, I'm looking for the gift cards. I can't find the gift cards and then I find the Google Play gift cards. They had like different amounts. They had like three ten dollar ones. They had amounts zero to two hundred, just certain amounts, stuff like that. So I take a picture and no, I say I'm here. They have ten up they have from ten dollars up to two hundred dollar gift cards. And they say send pictures of available amounts. So I send the pictures. I'ma just like post them where y'all can see. I send the pictures and they say grab five, two hundred each. So when I saw that, I'm like, grab five, two hundred each. Okay. And I'm like, okay, is there a specific card number that I will pay with? I only have my card. Because I'm like, I only got my card and you're asking for me to get gift cards. But then I'm like, uh, well, I just use my card because usually where I work at, they always do um, reimbursements, like, quick. So it just made sense. Like, I'm like, I'm, I, I just felt like I was literally talking to the CEO because, one, he's always in meetings. He's always in meetings and, um, like, doing presentations and stuff. So I just felt like, okay, yeah, I got you. So, they said, purchase with your car, key receipts for reimbursements. Remember when I just said they always do reimbursements? So, I'm like, okay, I just do re I just get reimbursed that when I drop them off or something like that. And um, they said, I said, got it. And then they said, after purchase, you need to remove the car from the envelope and scratch it off. Send images revealing the barcode. Also, I need you to stand by at the store while I double check and make sure the cars are properly activated. So at this point, I'm like, okay. So I get in line. I got the gift cards. I got five two hundred dollar gift cards. Two, four, six, eight, yeah, thousand. And I go to the register. I say, can I purchase these gift cards? For some reason, the lady was looking at like the register lady was looking at me, but I wasn't really aware. I'm just like, I just want to purchase five two hundred dollar gift cards, like you know. So. She looking at me or whatever, and then she like, okay. So she starts scanning them up. The machine going slow, stuff like that. Now, when the machine started going slow, that was that was a red flag. I think that was actually God telling me like Taylor, I'm, this is not a good idea. Like it was just so many signs that I did not see until up until now. So, um, this the register was going slow, or whatever. I'm keep, I'm checking the time. Right now it's. 134. I have to leave by like 150 to get there on time. So it's still going slow. The the lady's still going slow. She called the manager. She like, can you put these in? So, all right. So the um, gift cards went through or whatever. The yeah, the gift cards went through, and then it declined. That should, that was another sign. That was God saying, Taylor, like, what are you doing? So it declined, and like when I swiped my card, it, it declined. She said declined. I looked at my, I looked at my message. When I use like when I spend a, a big amount, like a huge amount over my spending limit in a day, um, Chase automatically declined my card, like declined that purchase. I have Chase, call I have college, um, like Chase College, and they real big on fraud, fraudulent activity. So thumbs up to that because I love I love Chase. So um. Well, to an extent, because I'm gonna tell y'all about this story. Finishing out, so I get a message that said, um, we got a fraudulent activity or whatever. Uh, if this you, what do you say? Hold up, all right, it say chase fraud. We declined 1000 with the car ending in do 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 at CVS Pharmacy. Was this you reply yes or no? If yes, you will not be charged unless you try again. I hit yes. I hit yes because I'm like, duh, like the CEO is literally telling me to buy these gift cards, so why not? So I hit yes, and then it said, thank you for confirming your transaction activity. If the person was declined, it could be attempted again. So I'm like, I know, I, I know, I got the money on my car. So um, I told her, okay, just try it again. So she tried it again. Only two of them went through. Three of them declined. So only 600 no it went through yeah the whole thing went through 
and then it declined again. But only three of them declined. Two of them went through. So 600 declined, went right back to my card, and then 200 went through, which means it was only $400 that was actually being able to be put on the gift cards, which is two $200 gift cards. So she's like, this is declining. Um, I can see the manager. So the manager's trying to fix her and everything. They like, um, she already exceeded her limit in buying however many gift cards you can in the store. She'll have to go. I'm like, well, can I? Um, I'm like, well, can I buy other type of gift cards? She's like, no, you have to go to a different store. I'm like, all right, cool. And um, so I went out and I texted the CEO. I texted the CEO and said, what did I say? Oh, I said, okay, I just want to confirm the amount, 200 right? He said, yes. Purchased five cards with the value of $200 each. So I was like, hi, CEO. I was only able to purchase two $200 gift cards. I tried to buy five, but they were saying you could only buy two gift cards a day. Uh, well, a certain amount of gift cards a day. They just were refunding me the 600 of the three that I wasn't able to purchase and I sent over I sent over the receipts and everything and the gift cards and they said okay can you locate another store so I'm like it's going to decline for me they tried new cards but I reached the total amount I can only I can only buy a certain amount of gift cards a day at this point I'm irritated because I'm running out of time I need to be on the way to my audition and the CEO is asking me to get more gift cards try a different store and I can I'm actually I need to get going to go to my audition so I told him I can't I exceeded my limit and they said okay scratch off and send images revealing the barcodes I scratched them off and I sent the images they said receive locate another store you can try another store and then I said okay I'm gonna try Target I have an audition in a little it shouldn't take long I will go to Target as soon as I'm finished and they said okay keep me posted so I'm driving or whatever and I get to where my aud audition is I'm parking and then son just dinged me like wait hold up this don't make no sense like my senses came back to me like Taylor do you know what you just did? So I'm like, nah. Then I'm like, hmm, let me just check just to make sure. So I screenshotted my messages or whatever. And the message of the email that my CEO, my CEO sent. And I sent it to my boss. And was like, which what I should have did at the beginning. But, you know, knowing me, I'm just like, oh, shit, the CEO hit me up. Cool, like, I got you. Like, you know, I got you. We're going to get reimbursed anyway. So I sent it to my boss and was like, um, I just want to confirm, is this the CEO? Because I just purchased gift cards. I reached out to three people because none of them none of them were applying as soon as I needed. Because this is when I realized, I'm like, hold up. Hold up, did I just do what I thought I think I just did? So I reached out to them and then they was like, no, Taylor, like, don't send that. That's not the That's not the CEO. Um, this is a whole scammer. So I was just like, oh my god. I'm shaking. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. While I'm walking to my um, where the audition is, I'm just shaking. At this point, I'm not thinking about no audition. I just auditioned for the clownness of the clownness of all clowns. Like, at this point, I'm auditioning to be in a circus right now. Give me my circus hat because... Who's the clown? Me. Like, I just auditioned for the role. Do you feel me? Like, Circus circus City. I'm going for my um, audition. I'm going upstairs or whatever, taking my pictures, doing my audition. I'm not really thinking about my lines. Of course, I did good, but as soon as I got out, I went straight to my car, and I was able to talk to the HR, and she was just saying, like, Taylor, like, is everything okay? Um, is there anything that we can do? Um, I'm sorry that you had to go through this because I'm actually realizing my like, weight. This is a whole freaking scammer. Like, I literally got scammed out of a thousand dollars. So, as soon as I figured, found out that this was a whole scammer, I 
once I um, drove home, I contacted Chase. But knowing me, I'm nervous. Like, I don't want to make it seem like I went out and bought gift cards. So I'm calling Chase like, hi, I just bought gift cards. Um, I wanted to um, decline a purchase because it was fraudulent activity. That don't make sense. So I was just so scared. The first thing that came up to my mind when they was asking me questions like, did you do this? I'm like, no. I'm like, no, I did not do this because... I don't know. They was like, do you have your car? I'm like, I have my car. They like, but I'm telling them like someone must know my code and everything because that have happened in the past where people was able to just hack my car. So um, they was just saying, um, okay, we're going to look into this. We're going to investigate, blah, blah. They was asking all these questions. And then I had to request to decline a car because if you don't, obviously it make you look suspect if you would say no keep the car active you get what I'm saying so I was like no just to clean the car I'll just get a new one it'll come in the mail like later that week so um, they declined the car and they actually gave me my thousand dollars back but um once that happened I felt I was feeling better and I was talking to my um the HR the, the actual real CEO reached out and was like um he actually was gonna give me the money back that the scammer took but I already talked to my well to Chase and they gave me the refund back so I told him like no it's okay my bank already handled it so which I, I'm very thankful for that but a couple days go by they um, filed the claim or whatever I got my thousand I'm like cool I got my thousand um oh, later that day that Friday um they hit me up again like um are you at the store yet because remember I said um, I will go to Target as soon as my audition is finished. So, a couple hours go past. They hit me at, like, you at the store. I was irritated. So, I ain't respond back till next, like, that Saturday, the next day. And I said, you're a scammer. It's okay. Karma will get you. And I was just like, it's cool. Like, you probably need the money more than me. Obviously, you do if you're scamming. Like, who, what do you get? What do scammers get out of scamming people? Like, you can only go so far. You gonna scam your whole life? Like, I don't know. So, um, a week go past and I get a message from Chase, like one of the statements or whatever about my claim saying that, um, the claim, it came back as authorized. I'm like, which authorized means it was correct. Like, we're gonna take your money back. Like, we gonna take our money back and dip. You get what I'm saying? Like, no, we about to take our money back. So I'm like, wait, what? So I called Chase and I told him like what really happened. I'm like, I told him what really happened because when you talk to different people, you don't have the same agent. So I just told him, and um, I was like, I got scammed. I didn't know. I thought um the whole time it was the CEO, but it was actually a scammer behind his email, and I fell for it. And I have the receipts. I still had the receipts. I still had to give cards. And it was saying to send them over, like fax them over. So uh, I'm like, okay, cool. Can you? He said he'll put in a request to open it. So I'm like, cool. I I think that next day I went ahead. I was at school and I printed all the receipts that I had, like all the screenshots, messages between us. I um, printed them out and then I went to the store and I faxed them over. So they was in color. When I printed them out, they was colored. Like you can see clearly. But I guess when I faxed them over, they went black and white. So when I faxed them over, um, I called. They said call. When you send them over, call within like five, like a couple days. So I called them and then I was telling them what happened. I just kept checking on the status of the claim and then they said it looks like the person who you talked to never reopened the case so they said they'll reopen it just have to take five more days so i was irritated about that because dude like clearly you told me he was going to open the case the last agent i talked to but he never went sent it through so a couple days go by and i talked to another agent and um they had opened the case or whatever and they said um Oh, I talked to another agent and they said it's still pending. They're still looking through or whatever. And then they said, um, if you have any more documents, you can send them over. And they were looking through the documents and they said, um, they're sent, they sent black and white, which shouldn't be a problem. But they might have to send color because 
they want to actually read them because I sent them colored so y'all must have received them black and white but I'm like all right cool so then I recently just got a message saying that it came back authorized again so they took the thousand dollars back and I don't have the thousand dollars anymore sorry my camera died so if I'm in like a different angle or like a spot then the last frame don't worry about that but I think I believe the last thing I said was I'm out of a thousand dollars actually it was really just four hundred dollars but the whole thing was I was getting scammed out of a thousand dollars so I was able to get the six hundred back because the six hundred went back on my account when it declined when I was at the store but yes this is my story of how I got scammed out of a thousand dollars it was just so crazy like I went through so, not just went through so much, but that was just crazy. I never got scammed before. I'm so aware of, like, scamming, but I never came across, like, gift card scams. I guess this is these things were that how I got scammed. Like, I'm aware of if somebody hit me up, like, hi, can you, like, just people hit me up on my phone and stuff. But this actually came from my work email, the same name as the CEO, who I always talk to. So it was just an it was a, a coincidence, and then it seemed like either this person used to work here, or they got ties to how the company operated. Cause what they were saying was just straight one point, like one point, especially with the reimbursements, the meetings, and stuff like that. They just knew what to say, was which is why I believe I fell for that. And because if it was just a regular scamming thing, like in my like my regular email and stuff like that, of course I wouldn't have known. I would have known to not fall for it. But how it all went through, this was probably the easiest. Whoever that scammer was was probably like, oh shoot, this is too easy. Like they had to put in no work. I know, but try me again. If you're watching this, try me again. I swear, you're not gonna get it. You're not gonna you're not gonna get nothing from me. You're not gonna get nothing from me. But you probably needed it more than I did. And I probably could call back Chase and say like what happened like I even sit in my documents and stuff after they received them but at this point it's just so much like I went through so much just to prove try to prove to them like this is a whole scammer like what do y'all want me to do like go through the database like I don't I really don't know what to show y'all what else to show y'all y'all whoa what else or how else to show y'all that I got scammed like you can I don't know but I'm just like, forget it. It's $400, yeah, but it is what it is. Because if I try to, I feel like if I was to call them back, it is, I have to wait five more days. And then they probably send it back saying it's authorized. Oh, the reason it came back authorized is they said because the chip was used. And not just numbers punched in. And I told them, like, of course the chip was used. I'm the one who purchased the gift card because I thought the person who I was talking to was the CEO. But no, someone was mimicking him. Someone was stealing his identity. And they reached out to me. And that's how I feel for it. Of course the chip was used because I used the chip. I used my car. But it was, it was so many signs throughout the whole process. God was literally telling me, no, 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 no. From from when my car got declined, from when the system was going slow, it was just so much stuff like red flags after red flags. And I'm still here like, nope, nope, nope. Being nice, too busy being nice. And I just feel like that's what I get as well as to being so open instead of like putting my guard down like hold up who is like i just need to make sure can i call you i wasn't thinking like i just knew i feel like i was distracted too on the simple fact that i was getting ready for my audition and then i get a message from my ceo saying hey can you do me a favor real quick but yes yeah, so that is the story of how i got scammed out of a thousand dollars i did not tell my mom I did not tell none of my family members, so if you're watching this, yes, this is true. This happened about a month ago. And the reason why I didn't tell my family is because the first thing they would have said was, you're dingy. They would have called me dingy. So, yeah, we can't do that. I just wanted to, I just felt like I needed to handle it as an adult. The only person that I, people that I did tell was my best friend and Darnell, so they knew. And of course, Darnell, 
they was like, what? Oh my gosh. Yes, that's my story of how I got scammed out $1,000. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, give it a comment and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for my next upcoming videos. Bye.